Beavers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets. Today, joined by. Master of the Artillery. Yes! And I'm pretty damn excited, and I think you are too, because oh, yes. we're going to be drinking a really awesome beer, I'm sure, already, because we've had uh, different versions of it. This made it to Denmark. It's none other than the brewery's sixth anniversary old ale, the brewery Zucre. Um, kind of an expensive beer. In Denmark, but yeah. 225 kroners, that's like 40 some dollars, maybe even closer to 50 actually. Uh, 40, I think. Okay, 45 or something. Oh. I, but I think it's like 30 in the US, so it's not too bad. But it should, you know the story. They take their old ales, they blend them, new ones in every year. Like they blend fresh with the old ones and then barrel aging. And now they barrel age them 100%. It's 100% bourbon barrel aged. They did a lot of different versions of this this yeah. year. Can't remember all the different ones. Uh, I saw Chris geek out about this, I'm looking forward to 16 point 16.9. 16.9 is an alcohol. We're sharing it just you and, you and me. We're going to get pretty drunk for this. And we have even more beers to drink today. But yeah. really excited about this. We don't have any special occasion for opening the bottle other than that it's a special beer. So I say we dig in and drink some awesome bourbon barrel ale Dale. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we got the soup crepe board and had this beer into the. It, it, it looks, looked like we poured some Coke. Yeah. And it fills the room. Right now, I can smell vanilla and almonds. A and lot beer. of carbonation, it looks like. Yeah, a good amount, actually. Uh, and with when you go ahead, whatsoever. Yeah, when you like tilt it to the sides, there's like sticky lacing on the sides of the glass. Yeah. Let's take out the aroma on it. <laughs> oh, I haven't had a beer like this in ages. Holy crap, that's sick. That's so intense. <laughs> Dark fruit, smell. raisins, yeah, yeah. bourbon, vanilla, almonds, dark, dark fruit oak, juice, dark and fruits, uh, vineyards characters like red grapes. It's just so complex. Yeah, Chocolate basic. too. Yeah. Sorry, I'm but it's really wrong. you do get uh, some oh, alcohol, yeah. but it's it's really it's like subtle and smooth at the same time. Yeah, it kind of feels balanced. In yeah, there. but you, of course you uh, do get some. For it's sixteen point nine percent, but. It smells sweet and sticky, uh, molasses, syrup. So sugary. Um, yes, sugary, those kind of notes. You get, you know, like brown sugar, mm -hmm. almost like a, they made like a, a you know, like raisin glaze yeah, thing. It's like balsamic yeah. raisin uh, brown sugar glaze or something like that. Wow. Yeah, I, I want to taste this now. That's right. Cheers, Cheers bro. Oh, what the fuck? That is one hell of a beer. Damn, that's a big one. That is a <laughs> huge ass motherfucking beer. Wow. It, 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 it tastes like alcohol. There's some alcohol mm -hmm. in it. But it's quite balanced in the beer, I think. I think actually the... Um, and it has more carbonation than last time. Exactly. I think it, it, it doesn't have a a Coke feel to it, but the first... Um, yeah, it's spritzy like yeah, yeah. Coke almost. But it's still like very sticky. Mouthfeel, I feel like, and but it warms you up, like yeah, it's like, <laughs> and I, I haven't really had lunch yet. <laughs> I have breakfast, so yeah, same yeah. here. So, but really nice. I'd say lower side of full, but very mm -hmm. sticky and sugary. It leaves that gloss on your lips. Yeah. The aftertaste is so long, yeah. and it has that syrupy glaze, raisin balsamic glaze type thing going on as well. I think, and some red grapes. It's really complex. Yeah. I think for once we should sit and sip on it and then come back with our final thoughts. Okay. Should we do that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. See you guys in a minute. So guys, we're back with the brewery Sucre. I've been sipping on it for a while. It's a huge beer. It takes a while to drink it, but it's fine. It's awesome. Love this beer. Um, yeah. Still the best anniversary ale I've had from the brewery was fruit. But that was because it was aged. You had it sort of fresh. I had it sort of fresh. I had it fresh at the brewery. I had on, oh, yeah. on tap, bitch. <laughs> but I, I had it fresh. I had it um, aged. Was it last year we had it? I think. Yeah. yeah. Which was it was mind blowingly great. And we had it side by side with the uh, boys. Which, yeah. Compared to comparing those two, I definitely preferred the uh, fruit. So with age, this is crazy. But fresh is still an amazing crazy. It's like the. If you're looking for the best barrel aged old ale in the world, you have to check out the Brewery's Anniversary yeah. Series in my mind. I am gonna go with 98, because it's fucking mind blowing. Great. Love it. The only like 
minus I have with it is it, that it has a little bit uh, too much carbonation and you can really feel that in like in the first few sips and all it's died down now but that and it's got a slight kick of alcohol but other than that it's just you know you, you should expect that from a beer this big and then it's just a huge complex beer I love the big beers from the brewery so yeah. a 98 for me amazing beer <laughs> well I'm at the whole other end of the scale so I'm gonna go 96 oh whole other end of the scale yeah. <laughs> two great no, but um I'm not all the way like close to 100 because. But he's funny enough. I taste more bourbon than him. Yeah. He tastes more dark fruit. I think this is like dark fruit. But that's also how coated you... with brown sugar and. Yeah. I also think it's how your palate. Everyone Probably. has a different palate. Yeah. For me, I'm getting like a lot of bourbon. But this is not the bourbon that I usually get from. Uh, oh, in um, uh, Imperial Stouts with bourbon, mm -hmm. for example. Um, so I think I really really dig this. I think you know as we, as you said, uh, with age, you know, a year or two, this will be. Probably on the high highs of uh, fruit, I think. Yeah, probably so, like fruit right now. When we had the last for me was 100. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was and, and that was the first time we had this ball here. So that's oh, yeah. it. our anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't in the review, so that doesn't count. That's true. Yeah. But so, that was fucking good. Yeah. Awesome beer, guys. Sorry for the rambling. Let us know what you think of oh, the breweries for Sucre and the anniversary ales. I would really like that they're 100 percent barrel aging them now. And is there any of these variations that you prefer? Because I know there's a lot of different ones than just bourbon. So if you have a favorite, let us know. Um, look forward to the next review of a big brewery beer because it will be up soon. Don't know when this will be posted, but I'm not going to say this for a special number or anything. So whatever. Let's say cheers. Cheers. Remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. See you guys in another beer review. Yes.